What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to paste a range as an image in an email body and resize that table. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the left, I've got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got a table with um, that contains countries, their region, and their populations. Alright, so let's get into the sub here. Um, let's call this sub send email with table and resize kind of a long name but whatever let's keep it going all right so let's declare our variables we're gonna have out app as object we're gonna have out mail as object we're gonna have um, table as range we're gonna have pick as picture we're gonna have WS worksheet as worksheet and then we're gonna do uh, word doc because we're gonna have to use that when we're actually pasting so let's keep it going let's set, set out app equal to create object and we want the outlook application set out mail equal to out app create item and then we're gonna set WS equal to this workbook and then the sheet name is population data so this workbook sheets population data and then we're going to set our table equal to WS. So we're referencing here WS, this worksheet. And we're going to want it's static. So we're just going to grab um, what's this A1 to C11. So the range is A1 to C11. All right. So now what we're going to do, geez, sorry about that. So now what we want to do is, what we're going to do is activate the sheet. So we're going to activate WS. And then we're going to copy the table, this table here, this range, A1 to C11. And then we're going to set our picture, set pick equal to WS pictures paste. Okay. So now with pick, we're going to select it. And with selection, we're going to do shape range lock aspect ratio MSO true and we'll play around with this to, to, to show you like how it looks if you set it to false but what this is going to do it's going to lock the aspect ratio in so regardless of what you declare the height or the width it's going to keep the same ratio between the height and the width so the picture won't be you know distorted or anything like that all right, so what we'll do here is shape range and the height, we will change it. We'll, we'll just put 100 to see what happens. All right, and then we'll end our width. And now the same pick, 
that we selected, we're going to cut it. And now, so let's let's go ahead and add a comma here. So first, we grab the table, convert to an image, and cut. Now what we want to do is create the email message. So on error, can't spell today, sorry about that. Resume next. So with out mail, and let's end our with. So with out mail, we're going to be sending this to, we'll just say team at 123.com. And then we're going to CC no one, BCC no one. The subject will say country population data. And let's go ahead and throw the, the, the date in there too. All right, so the date, so we got format, date, and let's do month, month, day, day, year, year. And then we're going to want, oops, I need an ampersand right here. All right. So now we're going to want to display the message. So we can see it before it gets sent out. All right. So now what we want to do, this is where the word doc variable comes into play. So we're going to set word doc equal to outmail dot get inspector dot word editor and with word doc range and let's end our with we're gonna paste and format the picture and then we're going to insert paragraph after and then after that so what this is so what we're doing here right is um Let me just finish typing it out and then explain it afterwards. So we're going to do thank you. So this is like the final greeting. And then insert paragraph after again. This is going to be like the body of the email. So like this is at the end. And then insert after, I'll say my name, Greg. So it'll be thank you. We'll see the picture and then thank you and then Greg. All right, so let's end this with. All right, so now. Oops. Got too many. All right. So now what we're going to do is dot HTML body. It's going to be equal to body style and the font size, keep it at 11, the font family, let's go with Arial, and then I'm going to do an ampersand and an underscore to keep this line going since I'm running out of space and then we're going to say hi team and then insert a paragraph um, not insert a right oh, uh, we're going to go down like paragraph spacing please see table below and then we're going to do 
dot HTML body. Missing quotation. Okay. So then we yeah, we end our width that goes here. So this width goes to this width. This width goes to this width. And now on air go to zero. And then we're going to set out app equal to nothing and set out mail equal to nothing. Is that the last? And so it's down here. This is an extra in width. We don't need that. Sorry about that. Just to make sure we got this right. So <clears throat> we've got a width here, end width there, width there that goes to this end width, and then this width goes to end that end width. Okay. So let's see what happens. Hopefully there are any bugs. And there is. Sorry, I added an N, but you see what's happening here, right? <laughs> so let's get rid of that. Let's try it again. Boom, there we go. So you see what happens when we set the height to 100. Let's go ahead and comment this out and see what we get. And also, I don't like how thank you is so close to the table. So let's add another line. Okay. You see that's a lot bigger. All right. So I could change this to 500 the shape height. And it's even bigger. Now let's add um shape width oh yeah so range width equals 500 so the aspect ratio is locked here so it should be the same as was before now if I make this false the aspect ratio isn't locked anymore so now it's like a perfect square but the data is distorted. So I can make this smaller. Let's do 300, 300. You see there? So that gives you the ability to resize to your liking, to keep the aspect ratio intact or not. And if you don't want to be bothered with changing the size at all, you can just comment out the uh, height and width. And you can use one or the other to determine how long the chart, like say you want to have the chart a certain width, so you would can't, you know, take out the height and then, sorry, take out the height and then make sure that you don't comment out the width so that you can see your uh, table based on whatever number you put for the width. Um, and yeah, so you can just play around with that. <laughs> Hope to help some of y'all out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.